Hello everyone, this is Bruce the Canon Geek. Welcome to my next short video. This one is about the Canon R6 Mark II low light performance. How well does this camera do using high ISO settings? This is another one of those videos that is less than two minutes long. And this video starts now. You're wondering how much digital noise you get with the Canon R6 Mark II at different ISO settings and how high you can go before your image is unusable because of poor quality. Make sure you realize ahead of time there's no objective mathematical scale to measure noise. It's your own subjective opinion that matters the most. As you'll see in a moment, I was shocked at the results I got with the real life test. I did a variety of tests, both using a scientifically printed test target, as well as real life photos from dimly lit situations that you find out there in the real world. The test target results proved to be of little value because the target was printed on a cheap inkjet printer, so it was difficult to do a good comparison with the different ISOs. To keep this video under two minutes, I'm going to show you just two examples of my high ISO test out in the real world. This photo of the Ferris wheel was taken at night, and it's a shot I never would have gotten with one of my older Canon bodies. It's a little uncharred from a slow shutter speed at a sixteenth of a second with a moving target, but the noise levels at ISO 8000 were remarkably low. I gave my Canon R6 Mark II the ultimate test when I photographed a horse race at night. I was blown away. I was blown away. I was blown away that I could shoot at ISO 40,000 and come away with a good photo. This high ISO test was a game changer for me in terms of low light situations. I can now shoot with higher, faster shutter speeds, cutting down on having to use a tripod or a flash. Bottom line is the high ISO performance of the Canon R6 Mark II was the best I've ever seen.